Welcome to lesson 1 of SignalWire tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing how you can get started with SignalWire Cloud. All you have to do is go to SignalWire.com, that is the website, and you will be able to see different services and contacts as well. In here, we are going to go to the button Try It Free, and we click to create a trial account. By default, you will start with trial, and then you can upgrade from there. But with the trial account, you get some free credit that helps you test the services, both SMS and calls. All you have to do is enter your email address and click sign up. When you have your account, in here you can create different projects, which I will explain later what they mean. And each project has a unique ID you can purchase phone numbers uh, using the button there and then you can also verify your own numbers you can have short codes uh, port requests phone number number groups but some of these services are limited when you are in trial mode you cannot have them you can create SIP endpoints you can create you can go to settings and create domain apps all these are services that you can achieve in SignalWire then we have Lamil. We are going to be diving deeper here. In this area, you'll be seeing the messaging and voice logs, conferences, queues, faxes, recordings, and apps. And you can create applications and bins to use as webhooks. We also have a dialogue flow tab where you can connect to dialogue flow. Also, we have integrations with different third parties. You can integrate with Signal and Stack, Free Switch, Agora, and Zapier. We also have the API key that can help you use the REST API to create webhooks on your own server. Then we have the billing where you see your, your, your account balance and some settings for the account balance. You can add your credit card. Usually when you, you add your credit card and add some balance, you will get out of trial mode. We also have international settings where you can enable your account to make international calls to different destinations, though these destinations have to be enabled manually. Uh, our documentation is on docs.signalwire.com. You click on XML specs and that should take you to the LAML XML. In this documentation, we are going to dive in deeper with different in the upcoming videos, but here you can see how you can set up LAML and we have multiple languages depending on what works for you. We have the REST API documentation. Uh, in this, we can actually initiate calls from another server into SignalWire. We can create and, and check applications and update numbers using the API. This is the API that you use, the REST API, to do those activities. We are going to be going through them and testing. Before you do anything else, you have to purchase a phone number. Once you purchase a phone number, you have options. You can purchase a local number, a toll-free number, or you can even go for short codes where you will be that, that will be used for sending bulk SMS. Uh, short codes are recommended if you're going to dive into uh, multiple or bulk SMS so that you, have, you avoid most of the spam filters that will get you blacklisted. Or blocked so all you have to do is set the required parameters and search for a number you want and once you have that number all you have to do is click on it and save it So once we have our number, we shall go straight to settings after purchasing it. Uh, and then you can set the parameters. You can either set what the number will be used for. You can, in this case, we shall set voice calls. And then we shall set for incoming calls, we run a LAML webhook. Or for incoming messages, you have options. You can select a LAML webhook. We are going to test all those other options in the future videos. 
since we want a Lamel webhook, we can do this under Lamel tab. And then you go to beans and then click on create a bin. You love uh, the, the, the simple template that is always there by default. Under those response tags, you'll be required to put your code. But before that, we give it a name. I'll call it test call response. And then we can go to our documentation and see how we can use the set tags. The set tags basically read text back to a caller. We shall copy that and go back to our Lamel bin and paste it there, which says hello world. You can, I will edit it and say this is a signal where test. And then I'll save. So once that is saved, you'll be presented with the name of the Lamel and then a URL, a request URL that Signora creates automatically. That's a unique URL that can be accessed anywhere. You just copy it by clicking on the copy icon and then go back to the number settings. Under those settings, edit settings, you can paste that URL for when the call comes in. You can leave the address as default and then click save. Once that has been done, here we can transfer numbers to different projects. If you have a different project, you can you can select a project as a drop down and then move it to another project. You can set as a nine. Eight, an E911 number address and then you can also release the number but you have to there is a certain period of time allowed before you can release a number let's try to release and see you see there is an error that we cannot bypass you have to wait for at least two weeks in order to release that number this is this was created in order to mitigate some kind of fraud um, Once you have everything set, I'll make a test call. So after making the test call, you can go under Lamel. That's where you will see the call logs. Here is our call. Uh, it has, I've made two test calls and the status is complete. We can see the duration of that call. We can see the from number and to number. And then we can also see what actually happened. We can see the Lamel URL that was run and in detail we see the kind of Lamel XML that was run. Uh, it said, hello, this is a signal I test. So in brief, that is how you make a test call. That's how you create an account on Signal Cloud and you make a simple incoming test call. You can see your billings, you can see your usage, you can see statements and payment history. This is the basic thing that you will be doing, but you are going to do more fun things in the coming videos. This was just an introduction and see you in the next videos. Bye.